As you can see on the screen, this is a stress strain graph, and I'm going to take you through what each of the points mean. Now then, first of all, we have the limit of proportionality. After this point, the graph is no longer a straight line and will start to bend. This is when it stops obeying, this is when the spring or whatever object is stops obeying Hooke's law. Now this is important because Hooke's law, as you remember, is that the force is equal to the um, constant times the extension and therefore it should be a directly proportional line, especially as, the, as before the point the graph is a straight line through the origin. This shows the material is obeying Hooke's law and the gradient is constant and therefore from that you can find the Young's modulus. Now then, then you reach the elastic limit. The elastic limit is when the material starts behaving plastically and therefore it means it will be plastically deformed and after this point the material will no longer return to its original state once the fresh uh, stress has been removed therefore it will be, it will be permanently extended. Now then, the next point along is the yield point. Now the yield point is when the material suddenly starts to stretch without any extra load. The yield point is the stress at which a large amount of plastic deformation can take place with a constant or reduced load. So the idea is, is it doesn't, you don't even need to increase the amount of mass on the spring, it will suddenly extend because you've pushed it too far. And the breaking point, well as you can see, as you'd remove the mass, it would go head back down to zero and would be permanently extended. Now the breaking point, on the other hand, uh, this is when you end up with a brittle material and it will just suddenly stop because the material will fracture because it doesn't deform plastically.